Hey what's going on guys, my name is Brad, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Duel Links video. Today we are going against Yugimoto because he is back within the Duel World until the 23rd of March. So that's what, 6 or 7 days we have to grind out Yugimoto and to get some of the card rewards if you didn't get them last time. I don't believe there's any new cards. Uh, let me have a look and see if he's gone. We've got level 30 here, not 40 unfortunately. Um, but I don't see anything that's new, which is kind of disappointing because Pegasus did give us a couple of new cards. But those were in the actual reward tier, so kind of makes sense. However, before we do go on to that, I do want to point out to you guys that Bakura, or Yami Bakura at least, is coming to the game next week, I believe. Yeah. So as soon as this event ends, there's going to be the Destiny Board of Doom event. Which basically is going to be exactly the same as the Pegasus event. You're going to be collecting 10 solid dice instead of star chips, and you're going to be able to face Yami Bakura to gain some of his cards and to eventually unlock him. Now, I'm wondering how they're going to go about implementing Destiny Board, because as you know, Destiny Board requires five cards on the field. Maybe they'll have it as a skill, like the Exodia skill, uh, so maybe after five turns of Necro Face, or Dark Necro Face, sorry, being in the graveyard, um, Bakura will win the duel, something like that, I don't know, but let's go ahead and face Yugi Moto. We're using Teya today, and my phone doesn't want to respond, there we go. We're using Teya today, we're using the same deck we've been using in the Exodia event. Um, apologies for not really posting that, I've not honestly been enjoying the Exodia event because it hasn't turned out as I and a lot of other people probably predicted it should have turned out. I think that the whole point of the event should be to, you know, win using Exodia and if you can only win using Exodia that would be like insanely better, but you can win with other ways. And we're not going to do auto duel because we're not trying to, uh, to grind this guy out just yet. So Toy Magician, we're going to go for the Barrel Dragon. Obviously, first of all. This could be really easy, actually, to be fair. And then I'll have to do something else. So let's uh, let's attack into that, or let's use this ability on that. Okay, that's fine. And then let's attack to see. Okay, Yugi's got, Yugi's got nothing. I have noticed in this deck he has the Labyrinth of Nightmare, I believe it's called. The trap card that changes your monster's battle positions at the end of the turn, which means that using Cerberus to farm Yugi is going to be an absolute pain in the arse. Unless you're running a ton of Twisters. But you really should be if you're uh, if you're if you're going with uh, Cerberus because you will obviously be getting uh, additional attack points onto Cerberus because of that. Let's see what we can do. Okay, Blockman and Castle Walls, cool. Blockman is his like ace way of bringing out uh, Gandora the Dragon of Destruction. And he's now got two of them on the field as well. Union Attack is going to give get two thousand. Okay. That's nice, okay. Dinner with Stark Witch, that's brilliant as well. Let's I'm gonna set Twister because I don't really want Yugi playing anything else. But we should be yeah, we I think we're definitely gonna beat Yugi. This isn't like like it was before when the game first like came out and Yugi appeared and not no one had that great cards. It's gonna be very, very easy to beat Yugi in this event. There we go. Easy level 30 duel. I still hate that position because it's like you just punch Yugi in the gut, and it's, it's just really horrible <laughs> when you think about it. But let's see, did we? I doubt we got anything good because we probably got like 3,000 points at best. Not even that, yeah. Not anything good from our rewards from Yugi here. Hopefully he'll respawn again? Maybe? Come on. No, okay, he hasn't, so let's go get the Vagabond to finish this off. Barnet to him. I have no idea who Barnet is. I guess it's one of you guys that sent a friend request uh, to my account. I do change those off uh, out regularly. I've seen new people friend requesting me. I do change those out, change those out every week. Sorry. So if if you want to add me, then you guys all know should know my username by now. Duel. Ah, okay. Warm worm, nice. Very useful. I'm gonna obviously, yeah. We're obviously gonna go with four star Ladybug of Doom because if he plays another level four, then we can just destroy both of them. Nice. There we go. Right, come on, give me an 1800 or something. Yummy ship. That's also good. <laughs> give me the good, the good uh, cards to set in face down defense position. He's got Ferret Limp as well, which means okay, that's that's staying on the field. Nice. What deck is he using? I guess he's using a uh, a Yummy variant deck obviously because the Vagabond doesn't use any skills so he can't gain that additional attack point bonus. But it does appear he's using a uh, a deck that would be useful with Yugimoto's Dark Sorcery skill. I believe that's what it's called. Ok, 
Okay, Barrel Dragon, will you destroy that card for me? No, you won't, okay. So... Okay, it's just... A what kid, really? This this Vagabond is using the worst deck possible. It is like one of those, just the starter decks you get. Uh, yeah, we're gonna land attack, right? Because we're gonna, we're gonna win this one right here, right now. Two very, very easy duels for this video. Apologies if it's not that long, I'm not too sure how long this video is actually going to be. Um, but that is going to be it, I believe, unless Yugi's respawned in the time we've uh, dueled the Vagabond. Or another Vagabond spawn, because then we will duel the Vagabond again. Oh, let's, uh, let's send one to midi. And, let's see, no special summons. Will the Vagabond reappear? Will we get another duel in? No, we won't, so we're going to end with David. We're, go we're going to do the auto duel for this thing, just while I uh, outro the video, just let you guys know what's going to be happening over the couple of coming days, I guess. Not really how I wanted to say that, but whatever. So hopefully we're going to be getting some more Vrains news either today or tomorrow, because uh, we got stuff in the weekly jump yesterday, I believe, and then... We're expecting stuff from the VJUP magazine, so hopefully that stuff comes and there'll be videos on that. Apart from that, I'm doing a Legacy of the Duelist multiplayer video tomorrow, which was requested by someone in the comment section of the last Legacy of the Duelist video. And then on at the weekend, I guess, I'll do a, one Duelist multiplayer and one Legacy of the Duelist multiplayer. Unless there's anything else you particularly want to see, if you let me know in the comment section down below, that'll be much appreciated. I'll be able to uh, work on content for you guys that way. Let's see how... Okay, our AI is doing very well. He's, she's pretty much one. Like, Cub of Ace is gonna give me the card. Okay, no, it's not giving David the cards. God damn it. We do have a Ryoko, we're fine. Unless Taya decides not to use it because it's been. Okay, she's using it. The AI has been a bit of a mess in recent weeks. And there we go. Defeated the AI with the AI very easily. That is it for today's Dogs video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. I'll have more Yu-Gi-Moto gameplay out soon. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. See you then.